In this video, I'll show you how to create a new ASP.NET Core Blazor server application with XAF and go over some of the most popular features. XAF's Blazor UI is a lightweight front end for mobile and desktop web browsers based on DevExpress Blazor components. It's ready for production use in popular CRUD scenarios that you can often see in ERP or CRM business applications. I'll start by creating a new project. Right now for Blazor, we have a separate solution wizard and it does not currently support the capability to add Blazor projects to existing XAF applications. To reuse your existing business model, platform independent controllers and application model settings, convert your platform independent modules to .NET Standard 2 or higher and add them to a new Blazor application. Select XAF Blazor Solution Wizard and hit Next. Specify the solution name and click Create. XAF's Blazor UI supports both Entity Framework Core and XPO ORMs. For this demo, we select XPO. Note that you can also use XAF with an in-memory data store, not bound to any database. You can enable the security system with the standard authentication based on a username and password. XAF also supports external authentication providers like Azure AD, Google, etc. for enterprise scenarios. Next, you can choose additional modules in the next page. For this demo, we'll choose the validation module. XAF will support more modules out of the box to match XAF's WinForms and WebForms UI. Press Finish. And that's it. Your first XAF Blazor app is ready. For the app to build, it's important to configure your personal DevExpress NuGet feed or use the local NuGet feed from the DevExpress installation. Like in other XAF applications, you can freely extend the business model, implement controllers, and edit the application UI model in the model editor. Let's take a look at the application in a browser. Our new app welcomes us with the logon form. We will log in as admin with an empty password. For the first start, the app will create a new SQL Server database with initial data that will take time. Okay, the app opened a detailed form of the current user with simple text and Boolean editors. It also shows the list of current user roles. This form also has some predefined validation rules. For example, you cannot save a user with an empty name. Let's take a look at our main demo that has a more complicated UI. In a list view, you can group objects against a column, sort, and filter them. You can also select predefined criteria in the filter menu. For instance, we can show only developers in our list view. If we go to the detail form, you can see single and multi-line text editors, date and image properties, lookups for reference and enumeration properties. For aggregated properties like address, you can edit data in a pop-up window. You can place all these editors into simple or tabbed layout groups. All is powered by DevExpress Blazor controls. DevExpress controls evolve with each release, and XAF inherits these enhancements. Of course, it's possible to integrate custom and third-party UI components, customize the UI, or add any functionality unavailable by default. Let's take a look at the reporting module in action. The reporting module allows you to create and edit, read, print, and export your reports right here in the application. In this demo, I can look through an existing report. You can also change the current color theme at runtime if you go to the gear menu in the top right corner. There are a dozen bootstrap themes, both light and dark, that can meet various business needs. Here we demonstrated how XAF Blazor works in the desktop browser. But the same web app also has a great mobile layout. I want to point out that evolved web development standards and modern browsers make it possible to access GPS, camera, and other hardware-related functionality in web apps like this. Let's address some more questions about the Blazor UI. We created a C-sharp project because Microsoft doesn't support Visual Basic in Blazor. Still, you can convert your VB.NET modules to .NET Standard 2.0 and reference them in a C-sharp app to use your data model, controllers, editors, and so on. Note that Blazor server apps require permanent connection to a server, and so they do not support offline mode. You also cannot deploy Blazor server apps to Google or Apple stores. For now, 
we target only users of desktop and mobile web browsers. You can deploy XAF's Blazor server apps to Microsoft Azure, Windows with IIS, or Linux with Nginx. You can also use Electron.net to create cross-platform desktop apps for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. And that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at setting up a Blazor app with XAF. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you get notified anytime we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.